John, you often hear that our journey together starts today. Ours actually started when we were 17. Becca, this is Grandpa. Congratulations to you. You'll make a lovely wife, and you're fortunate to have a really nice husband. We love you, Becca. Take care. I don't know where you came from, but this road is yours to trail. Becca and Connor's paths first crossed in their freshman year at Bishop Dwenger, but their story didn't start until senior year theology class. When we first met, you were not even on my radar, but as soon as you butted into my conversation, you never left my mind. She was one of the lucky ones to have met you, her best friend and the love of her life, so early on. Little did they know that this seemingly ordinary encounter would set the stage for a remarkable love story. My mom surprised me and had a um, heart cut out of my dad's dress shirt and um, an embroidered note from him sewn into the bottom of my dress. So, and I'm wearing his wedding ring, so he's here. <laughs> Uh, my pocket square is made from my mom's wedding dress. Um, definitely just I wanted her to be with me on this day. I wish she would have gotten to meet Becca, but I know she would love her very much, just like I do. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? You look so handsome. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. You doing okay? Yes. How we're doing deodorant. Right. We have been on this journey for eight and a half years. It started when I stalked you so I could get your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> it started when you said you loved me less than two weeks into dating. And it continued when we experienced our college years. And it took a turn when my dad passed away. You have been a constant in my life. And you have proven that you will never leave my side no matter what challenges may come our way. I will never stop finding things that I love about you. Welcome, family, friends, and loved ones. We're gathered here today in this beautiful space to celebrate the wedding of Becca and Connor. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique unto themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise made in the hearts of two people who love each other, and it will take a lifetime to fulfill. You are my best friend, partner, and teammate I could ever ask for. 
You understand me more than anyone on the planet. And even though I don't like to admit it, you are three steps ahead of me most <laughs> of the time. I love how we can laugh together until the entire room thinks we're crazy because we have too many jokes others don't get, but it only makes it funnier. I love how you support me and believe in me even when I struggle to believe in myself, but you make sure I never doubt how much you love me. I love going on adventures with you and trying new things together, even if it ends up with us getting laughed at at a restaurant <laughs> for how disgusted we are at sushi. I love how tightly you squeeze me and how you call your arms my home. I will never tire of being with you. You are truly my best friend. I'm so lucky to call you my wife. We have conquered so much together already and I'm proud to go through any challenge uh, life can possibly throw at us. I love you, Rebecca, now and forever. <laughs> It is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. Connor, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Sullivan. Really, you fit into our entire family seamlessly. Our dad's Rocco from day one. You've been with our family through some of the best and the worst times. And while I wish you were spared from some of the worst times, I am so incredibly honored and humbled that you not only stuck by my sister, but by all of us. They met in high school and you know, back then, the concern is that your best friend's girlfriend, you know, won't be cool, you'll barely see your buddy anymore. But Becca is straight up awesome. I love you today, tomorrow, and I will.